Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Ranking the Albums. Today we're going to look at the studio releases from The Doors. However, with a little caveat, I know after Jim Morrison passed away, Doors released a couple studio albums and many years later they released American Prayer. I'm not going to include any of those three. I think uh, most of you will agree that the two albums that they released without Mr. Morrison... Not very good, not very Doors-like, okay? I don't own either one of them. I've heard them. Not a fan. Uh, An American Prayer is basically just uh, some Jim Morrison poems, some old recordings of him talking and doing his poetry, adding some little bit of music here and there in the background, whatever. Not going to include that either. That's fine for what it is, but I am just going to look at the six proper Doors studio albums. All right, so... If you're going to get all in an uproar about not including the two albums or even the three albums post Morrison's passing, sorry, my show, this is what I'm doing. So as we always do with these shows, I start off with my least favorite, go all the way to my favorite. I will say this was pretty difficult. Um, I really like all six of those first Doors albums a lot. I like them almost equally. You know, some a little stronger than others, but you go through most of those Doors albums, and there's plenty of really, really great songs. Maybe every album is not top to bottom, chock full of absolute classics, but there are certainly a handful of classics on every Doors album. So for me, this was kind of hard to put together, and I think if you were to ask me this six months from now, might even give you a little different ranking. I kind of went back and forth, back and forth, moved things around, all this kind of stuff. So uh, for now, I'm pretty comfortable with my list and my order of ranking, I should say. But, yeah, you know, the top three could shuffle and change. The bottom three could shuffle and change. And again, I'll just preface this by saying I don't dislike any of these albums at all. Uh, I love all six of them almost equally. Tala agrees. She's over here squeaking away with a toy. So uh, your mileage may vary. You might like other albums differently than me. It's okay. There's no right or wrong answer here. We all hear these albums differently. The important thing here is to talk about the music and the albums of The Doors. You guys share your favorites uh, and your rankings with everybody else, right? So let's get started. I'm going to go with first, uh, or at the bottom of my list, again, not a bad album by any means. I love it. But I'm going to go with Waiting for the Sun. Uh, and again, another one of those choices that, man, there's some songs on here that I absolutely love. I absolutely love. You know, The Unknown Soldier. Five to One is one of my favorite door songs of all time. Okay, that's on here. Spanish Caravan. You know, Hello, I Love You. Love Street. Not to Touch the Earth. So many great, great songs. So, But again, might be, might be my least favorite Doors album. All right? So I'm going to go with that at the bottom of the barrel. Next up, coming in at number five, uh, is The Soft Parade. Kind of like a, almost like a transition album. Like, all these albums by them are very different from each other. That's kind of the cool thing about The Doors. But, you know, the title track. I, I love all the epics that they always put in on most of their albums right at the back end. And The Soft Parade is one of my favorites. Uh, Wild Child is great. Easy Ride, right? Touch Me. I, I love Touch Me. Such a great tune. It was a great radio song. You know, a lot of very strong songs on here. But again, I think I like some of the other albums better, at least today anyway. All right, next up, coming in at number four, I'm going to go with L.A. Woman. Kind of a bluesy album. You know, this album and uh, the Morrison Hotel are more kind of more blues-based albums. But, you know, of course, this has Riders on the Storm, very famous song, another great epic. Crawling Kin Snake, King Snake, sorry. Uh, the title track, L.A. Woman, fantastic. The Changeling, love The Changeling, all right? You know, love her madly, been down so long. I decided to leave out a word in there, but uh, you get the drift. Another really, really, really powerful album. Coming in number three, and again, my top three I could have flip-flopped. I debated going back and forth, back and forth. Let's go with Strange Days. Love the title track, People Are Strange, all sorts of great stuff on here. This is kind of like The Doors' psychedelic album. There are times where this is my favorite Doors album. I decided today it was not my favorite Doors album, but again, ask me in a couple of weeks, and I'd be like, yeah, I'm on a Strange Days kick, you know. Uh, I dig this album a lot, 
I really do. Like I said, these top three, they're, they're separated by almost next to nothing. All right, I'm going to go number two. I'm going to go with the Morrison Hotel. <clears throat> I actually, an hour ago, this was my number one. But I just, I had a hard time not putting the one I put at number one at number one. But uh, the Morrison Hotel also has some more of my favorite Doors tracks. All right. You know, Maggie McGill, Peace Frog. I absolutely love Peace Frog. Waiting for the Sun. Not on the album of, of, that, of that name, but Waiting for the Sun is also another one of my favorite Doors songs. Love it. You know, Queen of the Highway. Roadhouse Blues. I mean, it's just a really good Ship of Fools. A just really good bluesy Doors album. I think. Top to bottom, pretty damn strong. Yeah, I'm going to go with the debut as my favorite, at least today. Again, I know most of this album has been kind of played to death on FM Rock Radio, Classic Rock Radio over the years, but it, you know, God, the more I thought about it, it's got the end on it, it's got Break On Through, The Crystal Ship, Soul Kitchen, you know, Light My Fire, End of the Night. I mean, ugh. Alabama song, 20th Century Fox. So many great songs. Take it as it comes, baby. Yeah. Uh, I just had a hard time not putting it at number one. Again, I like them all almost equally. Yeah, you know, I, Some a little bit more than others, but I really don't think you can go wrong with it. None of these albums are stinkers by any means. They're all deserving of the legendary status that they have. Just something about this band... You know, just these four guys just made, they made magic, right? And it's just, it's funny, you know, when I did uh, with Steve Keeler last year, the uh, top 10 songs show for The Doors, that was so hard to do because they've got so many great songs. So many great songs. Narrowing it to 10 was almost impossible. And, you know, looking at the albums, almost impossible to rank because I, there's, they're all so good um, on their own merits, right? And it just, uh, but that that's, you know, I'm going to rank them as is. So coming in at number one, the debut. Coming in at number two, Morrison Hotel. Coming in at number three, People Are Strange. Coming in at number four, L.A. Woman. Number five, The Soft Parade. And number six, Waiting for the Sun. So now it's time for you guys to rank the Doors albums down in the comments section. While you're doing that, make sure you don't forget to visit us at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're on YouTube all the damn time. we got more of these ranking the albums coming up this weekend. King Crimson, Uriah Heep. we got a lot of people asking for Jethro Tull. I'm going to do my best to squeeze Jethro Tull on this weekend as well. So that's what you got to look forward to. I may be able to do a couple others. We'll see. Maybe I'll squeeze a top 10 song show in. We'll see. I definitely am going to review the new uh, Yan Ackerman this weekend. I am also going to review the new Sons of Apollo this weekend. I am also going to review what else we got. The new Magnum and also uh, Blood, uh, uh, Blood Incantation. So all the stuff that you saw in my listening room show I'm going to be reviewing. And uh, hopefully I can squeeze it all in this weekend, if not early next week. So we'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Have a good weekend if I don't see you. Uh, but I'm sure I will. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.